Good morning. Um, the idea is to remove the tire, uh, remove two little metal bars that, that are holding the brakes pads together. So I just removed those two. And then use a flat screwdriver to sort of open the difference between the disc and the pad, remove the both, clean them out with a metallic brush, slide them back in, close everything, put the tire back, pump the brakes, and then I guess we go and test ride it. So I'm just gonna show all these steps. I'm learning on the way, but it looks pretty easy. But I'm gonna show them because I bet some people would be interested. And also, if there's any experts out there, you'll let me know what I'm doing wrong or how to do it easier. All right, let's go. So the first thing we do is we lift the car, remove the screws, and then remove the tire. And if you come watch here, if you come watch here, these two yellow parts are the brake pads, and this is the disc. So this part here is a disc that spins. So I have to remove these two pins, then remove this metal bar without losing the springs inside. And then with a screw come here between the disc. So you see the disc is what's moving. So you put a screw between the disc and well, this yellow pad, which is the brakes, make a little separation and then pull it out and pull this one out as well. Clean the disc, clean the brake pads, slide them back in, close everything. All right, so I'm gonna start. There we go. So I remove these two. One and two. All right, so put them here. And then here we have to be careful not to lose the spring. So all I have to do is push out this metal bar while holding the spring. So this is the spring. Put them back in there. A screwdriver, from what I learned, put it between the brakes and the disc pad and just make a little spacing. And normally, look at it, it comes out. Whoa. Probably makes sound because it's actually finished. <laughs> Spare brakes. So I got two new from the brand Bear Mac. Uh, I got them from Euro 4x4, who is our partner for this trip, and have sent us, I mean, given us some of these before we left on the trip. And so I'm gonna use these as the new brakes. So these, these two pistons, there's one here and a smaller one here because it didn't come out as much, but we have to put this back down all the way to the to zero, let's say, and then put the new brakes pads in, otherwise they won't fit. And then we'll see if they fit in there. I got this one, which is stronger. Oh, it's hard, but it's going in. Look at it now. Look at it now. The piston was really out, like it's really in. So what I'm gonna do next, we don't have a metallic brush, but I have Matilde's toothbrush. She said she needs to change it anyway. Look at it. Nice, See, yeah. are you filming it? Yeah, but tu montres ma toothbrush, dégueu. C'est pas grave, c'est drôle. So we don't have a metallic brush, but we have Matilde's toothbrush. She said she needs to change it anyways. So thank you for the sacrifice. And, ooh, look, see? Just cleaning it out and you just see. Oh, you see all that? So that's all like dust that's stuck between there. So the point is just to make sure I clean it out to the max. Cause we don't want little sand pebbles mud to already be on the new brake pads. This is video. All right, so I'm sliding these back in. One. There we go. I'm just gonna slide through. There we go. And same thing here. Right, and once the pins are back in and you're sure that everything is good, then you put the tire back on. Last step is to check the brake fluid levels, uh, which is this one. I learned that yesterday with Nick. I mean, he knew that. It's quite high here. So Nick now needs to pump the brakes to be sure that the fluid goes all the way back over there. And the pistons 
squish the brake pads again. Oh, la, look how soft it was. There. Pump it, pump it, pump no, no, it. No, it's good. Just three, four times. Now we're good. So since the fluids have been pushing the brakes again, what's interesting is to check the levels and it's still looking it's very high. If I move it, it's at the max. So we're great. I think we're ready to go now. The only thing we have to the only thing to do now is go test drive the car, preferably on a road that you know with not a lot of cars, just so that you can test the brakes. And if all is good, then you're ready to go. Oh, and by the way, all this takes about 20 minutes, so you can do it yourself. It's pretty fast, and you don't need anything except for spare brakes. Job done. I can see that. Congrats. <laughs>